Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're talking the top five tools that you would get if you're starting your own wood shop. Now these are tools, keep in mind that you don't have to buy brand new. You can get them on Craigslist so you can save some money that way. So the list is going to be, I'm sure people are going to have their own opinion. So it's, it's going to be something that hopefully we can get a talk about going on in the comments. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of cool things coming out. We're giving tools away. When we do a review, we give that tool away to a subscriber. So please subscribe if you want to get some free tools. We got a lot of cool things coming down the pipe. So make sure you subscribe and get alerted to those. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Top five tools that I would get if I was starting my own wood shop. By the way, it's Jay with So my number one tool if you're starting your own wood shop would be a table saw. With a table saw, this is, this is the foundation of any workshop. This allows you to do cross cuts, ripping, you can do coves, you can do tons of different things on this table saw. And you don't have to spend a lot of money either. I mean, there's table saws out there for thousands of dollars, yes, but this one right here, this is the rigid R4512. And I believe it was like five or six hundred dollars. So you get a good uh, table saw here for not that much money. Now my second tool that I would get if I'm starting my own workshop would be a bandsaw. A bandsaw allows you to do those um, curved cuts and things like that that you can't do on the table saw. Now some people are probably going to say, well I wouldn't spend the money on a bandsaw right out of the box because there's other things I would want to get. True, if you were buying this brand new, but this is a Grizzly G0555, yeah, 35s I think, yeah, or not, 5X. Um, and this one I got on uh, Craigslist and it was barely used. I mean the guy never used it. It looks brand new still and I think I paid uh, $400 for it, so not so bad. So the third tool I would get if I'm starting my own workshop is a jointer. Now this, you know, I may hear some grief in the comments about this, but I believe that if you're working with rough material, your options are a lot greater. So if you can get rough lumber, you can mill everything. You don't have to worry about it being warped or bowed or anything like that because you can work it out in your jointer. And if you're really starting your own wood shop, you know, even as a hobby, a little six inch jointer you can get, you know, for a couple hundred dollars. So you don't have to buy everything brand new when you're starting out. This, for instance, this jointer right here, this brand new is a couple thousand dollars. Um, the guy on Craigslist wanted $800 for it. I got it down, I think I paid $250 for this. So, shows you, check out your used tools because there's bargains to be had. And if you're going to have a joiner, my number four tool is you might as well have a planer. This will allow you to get your depth on your material perfect. This will allow you to finish off, you know, the boards that you just did on the jointer. Because on a joiner, always remember that you only do one face and one edge. The rest you deal with other tools. The edge on your table saw, the other face on your planer. For example, Craigslist again. Got this one on Craigslist. This thing's like $600 brand new. I got this on Craigslist for 200 bucks. So for my number five tool, this one's a little bit different here because I'm kind of torn between two things here. I'm kind of torn between the miter saw and a router table. But here's the thing. If you get a table saw like the Rigid R4512, it's got a spot where you can actually put a router table right into the table saw. So then you wouldn't need um, a standalone router table. So then you could get a miter saw. Once again, you could pick up a miter saw very cheap. Here's a Roy Ryobi sliding compound miter saw. And I think this thing was uh, a couple hundred bucks brand new. You get what you pay for, you know, with this, but It'll get you by until you get something else. So those are my top five tools I would get if I was starting my wood shop over again. Now I'm sure other people have different opinions of what tools they would get and may think I'm completely wrong. But if you do, or you have a different you know, top five list, please put it down in the comments because I love to read it and I bet you there's other people out there that you'd help as well. So uh, 
Like I said, make sure you check if you're starting or, or out or buying tools for an existing wood shop, check on Craigslist because there's a lot of people that have tools for sale I don't want them anymore for some reason. Like I said, I bought that joiner, I bought the planer, I bought the uh, bandsaw at a reduced, huge reduced price. So uh, yeah, well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please make sure you subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Share this video with a friend and hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And as always, thanks for coming and we'll check you out later.